Kiana. And of course, you guys always bring the coolest animals today, penguin. Yeah, this is Yolandi. She is an African penguin. So usually when people think about penguins, they sure. think about cold weather places, yeah. right? But there's actually more species of penguin that live in warm places than mm. there are species that live in cold places. So usually we just picture Antarctica, but there's penguins in Africa, Australia, New Zealand, South America. There's even a penguin that lives on the equator, right on the Galapagos Islands where it's wow. hot all year round. Very cool. Yeah. So these guys aren't affected too much by the hot weather. They are not. They are okay. pretty used to it. Kansas is a pretty good climate for them because they can handle the summer warms. Um, but they can also be pretty used to um, cold water temperatures. So she's got two layers of feathers to help her stay warm when it's cold. And she's got a little gland above her beak that helps her to expel heat when it's hot. So she's used to all kinds of things. And she was taking a dip this morning because she has some water droplets <laughs> she on was, her yeah, back. She was just swimming when I grabbed her. So she's still got a little bit of water. <laughs> they have waterproof feathers on the outside. So you can kind of see that water beaded up on her body. Um, it doesn't penetrate those feathers to get down to her skin, um, which is one thing that helps her when she's swimming around so that she doesn't get cold. And you guys do awesome things at Tanganyika with the penguins. We do. Yeah, we our, our penguins are one of our most popular animals. We have a penguin meet and greet. Um, we do weddings with penguins. We have Whoa. one that walks down the aisle and carries little rings around his neck. Um, I think the coolest thing we do is our penguin swim. Um, we're, as far as we know, we're the only place in the United States that does that program. And it's really popular. We have people come from all over to swim with our birds. Yolandi is one of our swim birds. So if you come do that program, you might be able to swim around with her. Come take a dip with her. And that leads me into my next thing. You guys are very different than a typical zoo. Absolutely, yeah. We um, are not a typical zoo in the fact that you're just walking around and looking at animals. We try to get people up close to the animals and give them a little bit more of a connection. Um, so I always think of it as like you go to a normal zoo and you're just trying to find the animal and move on to the next thing. I love doing that too. I love yeah. going to Sedgwick and seeing if I can find the animal. Um, but Tanganyika wants you to spend a little bit more time and kind of get to know the animals a little bit more, get that kind of experience with them and get that bond that mm -hmm. you feel with them when you spend a little bit more time um, so that hopefully you're going to care about them more after that. So being able to spend 30 minutes with a penguin afterwards, you might be like, hey, this is a really cool animal and I want to help them in the wild. And yeah. Ooh, um, you, might, you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you might donate to a conservation organization or go sure. a little bit above and beyond. And I've been out and about talking with people and the number one thing they're most excited about is Tanganyika is on the Sunflower Summer app. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. We're only doing it on Mondays and Tuesdays because it does get a little bit crazy. Um, but yeah, come out on Monday and Tuesday if you have school-aged kids. And it's really fun. Um, everyone has really been enjoying it this summer. Yeah. And, and Splash Park's included, so you get to cool down. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. You guys always do really, really neat events during the summer. Anything ahead that people can put on their calendars? We just got done with our Twilight um, tours. So we're done with our big event for okay. the year, but we are doing the Sunflower Summer on Mondays and Tuesdays. And then on Wednesdays, we are staying open late on Wednesdays till eight o'clock at night. Um, so come out and enjoy our wild Wednesdays and get to enjoy a little bit cooler evenings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice thing to do after work with the kiddos, maybe. Exactly, yeah. Go cool down in the splash pad, hang out with some animals. Wonderful. Well, Kaina, thanks so much for coming on and always bringing a super neat guest. Thank you so much. She's like, I'm done with this interview. <laughs> Everyone stick around while we'll final look at your forecast. <laughs>